After Tuesday's primary election, we do know the candidates uh, voters will see on the general election ballot in November, and we also know more about the state of politics in Idaho. Our political reporter Anna Zellian joins us in studio this morning, and Anna, what did we learn from this primary? Well, Tuesday's primary actually gained national attention. Political analysts were looking to our state as a test of how successful far right candidates could be with voters. And here in Idaho, we saw a mix of wins for more traditional Republican candidates and for candidates that lean further to the right. Now, many far right candidates campaigned in part on culture war issues like critical race theory. I talked with a Boise State political science professor who says the quality of the candidates and the issues they campaigned on could have factored into the outcome of their races. Maybe these issues fire up a certain subset of voters, but in order to win a mandate from the people and actually really win elections, that maybe those issues don't fire up quite as many people as, as they thought. Uh, our primary also helped show how far an endorsement from former President Trump will go with the GOP primary for governor, which featured current Governor Brad Little against current Lieutenant Governor Janice McGeehan, who Trump had endorsed. Now, nationally, we've seen some Trump endorsed candidates winning their primary and others like McGeehan not winning, which shows that this endorsement doesn't guarantee a win.